CTV News at 6 with Joe Perkins. Good evening. Thank you for being here. A former Vancouver Island MP is in custody in Israel after the ship he was on was commandeered by Israeli troops. 79-year-old Jim Manley, a former MP for Cowichan Malahat, was one of roughly 30 activists on the ship bound for Gaza. The group was attempting to break through a maritime blockade in the Hamas region when their ship was stopped and Manley was taken into custody. Manley's family here on Vancouver Island says they lost communication with him early Saturday and is now concerned about his health and safety. CTV's Chandler Grieve has a story. If you are seeing this video clip, it means that communication with the Estelle has been lost. From his Nanaimo kitchen, all Paul Manley can do is hope his father will be back in Canada very shortly. No, we haven't heard when he's coming home. We hope, to, we hope that he's coming home soon, though. Former Vancouver Island Member of Parliament turned global humanitarian Jim Manley left Vancouver on October 3rd to Italy, where along with 30 other human rights activists boarded this ship, the Estelle. According to Manley's son, the group was sailing to Gaza to provide aid to Palestinians in the area. But yesterday, about 30 nautical miles from Gaza, the ship was intercepted by Israeli troops. This video circulating online appears to show those troops boarding the ship. The activists were taken into custody, charged with attempting to break through Israel's blockade of the Hamas-controlled seaside strip of land. I heard reports that people were tasered on the, on the ship, and we were obviously concerned because my dad's 79 years old. Early this morning, Paul received word that his father was visited by Canadian consulate officials and is extremely tired but in good health and was not harmed by the Israeli troops. But when he will be allowed back to Canada is still unclear. And um, he is still in detention. They've released uh, some of the Greeks and Italians who are aboard the ship because they had uh, political pressure and the ambassador for Greece had, you know, showed up at the detention centre and uh, pushed for their release. But uh, as far as we know, the Canadian government has done nothing. But the movement In the 1980s, Jim served two terms as the MP for the Malahat Cowichan region and is an active member of many social justice groups on the island, including the Mid-Islanders for Justice and Peace in the Middle East. Today, his fellow members reacted to the news. I'm pleased with what he's done. I think, uh, uh, as I say, uh, without these actions, the, uh, the blockade of Gaza would be largely unknown. The Israeli government released a statement saying the ship was rerouted to an Israeli port without incident and the activists will be deported back to their countries within 72 hours. He's not as resilient as he was when he was a young man and so I'm looking forward to seeing him home. Jim Manley turns 80 in just eight days. He went to school here in Nanaimo. So. And his family hopes he will be back in Nanaimo in time to celebrate. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Nanaimo.